Dean on the Street, still here in the Mondrian Park Avenue Hotel, right here in the lobby with my guest, the Saw Lady, okay? Hey, Saw Lady, tell me, why uh, uh, the carpenter saw uh, as an instrument, why? Well, um, I didn't go looking for the soul. The soul actually found me. I used to be a dancer. I was a trainee with the Martha Graham Dance Company. But one day I was coming back from Lincoln Center and I was hit by a car. And that was the end of my dance career. And of course, I was devastated because my entire life until then, I was like dance, 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 and all of a sudden, just like that, it was taken away from me. So my parents wanted to cheer me up. They took me on a trip to Europe. And while there, we went to see a show for tourists, and in it, there was a guy playing the soul. And that was the first time that I've encountered this art form. And it was the first time since the accident that I got excited about something other than dance. And the reason why is not just the beautiful sound, the angelic sound of it, and not even the fact that it's kind of funny, that it's a tool, no. What grabbed me about this instrument is that it's one of the only instruments that when you play it, the entire instrument moves. Like if you think of a violin, yeah, the bow moves, but the violin does nothing. It stays you know, in one place. With a saw, when you play, Amazing. the Amazing. whole instrument moves. So it's like dance. It's very visual. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And where are you from? Ooh, I was born in Israel and then lived all over Europe because my parents traveled a lot when I was a kid. But the majority of my life I've been here in New York. Hey, this is really exciting. I mean, right here in the lobby of the Mondrian Park <laughs> Avenue Hotel, Natalia Perus, okay? But throughout the world, she's known as the Soul Lady. Until next time, catch you on the street. <laughs>